All right, folks. So what we're going to do today is pretty simple. All right. Now, last time we met, we took a look at the different policies and we wrote down just little tidbits of information on each policy that made it look like this. Right. We have big stick. We have three branches going out to put dollar, three branches, moral, three branches. Right. OK, so we're going to do a little bit like that today, but just with the different countries that the U.S. intervened with during this particular time of imperialism leading up to World War One. OK, now, first thing, you should have picked up a piece of paper that looks like this. And actually, there's a um, you have a second piece that looks like this, too. Uh, mine's back in front. Yours isn't going to be because you're going to cut these out. OK. So on it, we have Panama, Mexico, Puerto Rico. We have the Philippines, Hawaii, China. We're going to take a look at all the different reasons that the U.S. intervened in these particular countries, okay? Together, right now, we're going to do Panama real quick, okay? So open up your text. You should have gotten a book already. Or if you haven't, just go ahead and hit pause and go grab one. Um, because there's not that many books, I would work with a partner if I were you just to get this done quicker. So you don't have to wait for a book. Okay. So on page 272, that's where we're going to start with Panama. All right. Now, if you take a look at Panama, I don't remember if the book has it or not, but Panama is right there. Do you see it on the map? I know it's kind of blurry. Uh, okay. Panama is right there. If you take a look, here's Mexico up here. Panama is this little tiny country that's holding North America to South America, pretty much. All right. And at this time, it was part of Colombia. Okay. But it didn't want to be part of Colombia anymore. It wanted to be its own nation. So guess who stepped in to help? Yep. The U.S. All right. We stepped in to help and encourage revolution in Panama during this time period and we pretty much backed Panama up with our Navy against Colombia and won. It wasn't even much of a fight. It was more just kind of a standoff than anything. So it's really not even that important to talk about. But the important thing is we got Panama. No, we, we became an ally of Panama during this time, which led us to acquiring land leases from Panama. Okay. That's what we wanted. You see, in order for us to get a ship from California all the way to Cuba during the Spanish-American War, we had to sail from California down North America, down South America, around the tip of South America. I'm going to show you the map again. Okay. We had to sail. Ooh, there we go. From here all the way down, all the way down around here and then all the way back up and then into Cuba. That was 14,000 miles that that became as far as a trip. What we wanted to do with Panama, why we wanted land from them, was so that we could dig a canal that we could use to cross ships over from the Pacific to the Atlantic or back again. That was the whole point, okay? So what I want you to do real quick, and then you can flip to the next video where we'll go over this next part. What I want you to do is I want you to read through 272 about Panama, list down four little facts. I mean, they don't even have to be full sentences, okay? Four little things about Panama right here on this little square coming out from the branches. And then when you're done with that, flip to the next video and we'll talk about what to do here.